Listen, um, oh, hold on. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to do a rainbow loom without the loom. I'd highly recommend that your that you won't think your fingers will hurt because they will hurt. That you do think your fingers will hurt a little because they will. Well, then all you have to do is grab a rainbow loom and stretch it out. These aren't new, so I have to. And then I cross it like a figure eight. Then I put it on like this. Uh, push it down a little so you have room. Then you put on two more, not three, because it will be super thick. Over that. Then you grab the very bottom and put it over. Very bottom again, put it over, both sides. Then you push it down some more. It's going to get longer, so you're going to have to push it down your arm, like that. Then you grab another one and <laughs> you just keep doing it. And then... Fishtail. See how it looks? By now it should look like that. It looks a little bit like a fishtail, but it's going to get longer, obviously. You keep on doing that and keep on doing that. Should look a little bit like that for now. doing that and I think I just forgot that that was on so sorry I went over there I just went to go show my mom see that's a uh, fishtail kind of looks like a braid except it is three definition 3d and it has more turns than usual
and that's Rainbow. Is it and then uh, I don't have any C clips but what I do is usually just put in that circle and then to that circle do that and close it and just straighten it and then it comes like that this is a ring it's a ring okay I have to take it apart obviously and the way to take a rainbow loom apart is just pull, like, these are at the same, just like that. The ones that are sticking out, you just pull. Another one, another show. I must have messed up on this one. And then... Like that. And just keep doing that until you go. If you have a C clip, that's awesome. I don't have any more. And there you go. All I have is black. So, isn't that sad? Bye bye.